Okay, first off, you just want to make sure your eye is primed. I've already primed mine. And then I'm going to move on and use um, a base. I am just using Bear Study from MAC. And I'm just going to lightly dab that over the lid. I'm just using an eyeshadow called Rice Paper from MAC. And I'm just putting it over the lid again. I don't want to take it above the crease area. Then I am just going to define the crease a bit. So I'm just going to use Naked, which is this colour here. And I'm using a small angle brush and literally just placing it in the crease. Just going to use a fluffy brush, this is just from Sigma and just blend it out a little bit. I'm just going to use this orangey kind of colour here and just um, place it in the crease area and bring it um, in quite far into the eye area as well. And I'm just going to take some more of that colour on the fluffy brush and just go over that area. I'm also going to take this colour from Laura Mercier and it's called Caramel. And I'm just going to place some of that on the fluffy brush. And put it in the same area but kind of take it a little bit above as well but don't take it all the way to your eyebrow. Once you're happy with um, the amount of colour there, I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and just blend it out of it. Let's take this colour Beside, oops, sorry, take this colour beside the orangey one that I used in the sleep palette. Place it just above that area. Again, I'm just going to use my fluffy brush to kind of blend it all together. And then I'm literally just getting Virgin from the Naked palette and just placing that on the brow bone. I'm also going to drag some of the orangey, kind of pale orangey colour from the sleek palette just under my eyes. And then you want to create um, a really thin line and I'm just doing um, a little flick at the end but nothing too dramatic. Now for my brows, I literally, um, <laughs> I have darker brows than uh, the character actually does. So I'm just going to use my MYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. That is the lid because it is snapped off. Lovely. And I'm just going to fill them in. I'm just going to put most of the definition in the actual arch and make them look a bit more pointy at the arch part and focus most of the kind of powder on that part so I get more of the definition. So I will put some colour in the front part but most of the focus is going to be on this part just here. Then I'm just going to run some gel through my brows, just to make them stay. I've already put actually 
gel through the other brow. I'm just going to use um, a Rimmel bronzing powder and I'm just going to literally just take it in the temples and bring it down to the cheeks a little bit. But I don't want to make myself super bronze because Jamie King, who plays Emma Bruland, does not look particularly bronze. She's got a lovely um, like ivory complexion. I'm just going to use this colour, it's just from um, my blush palette. It's just a kind of dark um, brownie peachy shade, but with a light hand it can look really pretty. So I'm just going to place that on my cheeks and I'm definitely going to build this colour up. Then she always had a glow, so I had to use none other than Max Soft and Gentle. I'm literally just going to swell this and, and put it on the top of my cheek. And just a tiny bit above the arch of the brow, I'm just going to use a bright pink colour. It's my favourite. And it is from Topshop and it's called Rosa. I'm just going to use this bottom lash from Clinique and I really do like this mascara. It just makes your eyes look um, more like dolly like. Now I'm going to move on to my hair. I'm just going to part it. And I'm just going to get more or less a rough parting and then I'm just going to drag it so I kind of got this bouffant crown effect at the back. So my hair is already curly so I'm just, well curly wavy so I'm just going to add to the curls. I'm just using this Tresemme um, curling wand and I'm literally just going to get quite big chunks of my hair, get the wand and just wrap it round there and hold it for about 8 seconds. And then we just let it fall into my hand for a couple of seconds and then just kind of let it go and as you can see I've got this kind of curl. I'm just going to uh, run my th fingers through it just to kind of give it a bit more texture and a looser kind of curl. And then I'm going to just get a part of my hair. Now you could either take this side, I'm just getting a bobby pin and literally putting that part of my hair back. And then I'm just going to use a, um, a flower and you could just um, clip it into your hair. Just go like that. Or you could do it on the other part of your hair, but I'm just going to um, take this back, just roll it a little, and then invert a bobby pin kind of backwards into the twist that and then that is my lemon in um, lemon brulee inspired look from the heart of Dixie I really hope you enjoyed this 
don't forget to subscribe and like this video, give it a thumbs up, and um, I'll see you next time guys, bye!